why do we practice? Why do we practice the accordion? Uh, this week, I received three emails, three separate emails from three separate students with questions that all somehow related to practice. Um, and in all of these videos that I sent to my students, I mentioned that sometimes we do something without understanding what we're doing. The point of practice that I suggest, I'll link you in the description to my 15 minutes of practice guide, the point of doing scales and trides and arpeggios a little bit is so that we gain an understanding of what a major chord is and what a minor chord is and that our fingers are in a specific shape, fine. But the majority of the time, we're just going through the motions. We're just doing this mindlessly. I, I think in some of my videos, I say you should be able to watch TV or read a book and for your fingers to do this back and forth without even hearing it. Why do we do that? Why do we practice? We practice so that our fingers, so that our hand gains the shape of our instrument. We do ear training, not to get it right every time, but so that over a long period of time, over a year, over two years, over three years, we become proficient in that language. So that three years from now, I say, play me a C major. Show me on your hand the C major. And your hand should go like this, so that when it comes down on the accordion, there's your C major. So that I could play a passage and say, and you take your accordion, and after a few tries, you're able to do. So we practice so that we become proficient in the language of the accordion. So we become proficient in the physicality of it, in switching between chords without thinking about it. If I say, show me a variation uh, of a C major chord, your fingers go like this, and then they land on the accordion. So all this practice that we're doing, especially now in the new year, there are lots of excited new players, there are lots of students who want to play more accordion in the new year. <laughs> Maybe that's a, a separate video, but we do practice sometimes without understanding what we're doing, but we're still going to go through the motions. We're going to have our fingering consistent. We're going to have our tempo and volume consistent when we go up and down. And eventually, after doing it for a few months, we're like, hey, this shape is an F major. But this shape is also an E minor. And it's also a D minor. And it's also a C major. Cool, right? And I don't necessarily have to reform my hand every time. I could just slide my hand. And that, that's a song, right? That's part of the reason why we practice, to get our body and our physicality one with our instrument. It's putting in those repetitions. Same with basketball, same with making pizza, same with doing judo. These are all things that I love to do. If you ask me how to press a dough, my fingers have done it not, not enough, but enough to know what it feels like for a dough to, to feel wet or for a dough to feel dry. I've shot a basketball enough times that I could do this. First time that you're starting to shoot a basketball, there's a lot happening. Same with judo. How do I grip an opponent? All these things apply to the accordion. With enough repetition or alongside it, we also try and understand what we're doing. But don't let the understanding get in the way of putting in the repetition, going back and forth between these chords, not looking down. Same thing applies to our left hand. That's what I'll leave you with today. <clears throat> I'll also uh, make an announcement that um, Accordion Love now has a free seven day free trial by default. Um, lots of students were having a three day trial and saying it was effective, but they wanted a little bit longer of a free trial. And so now you have a full week to try out Accordion Love. You can cancel at any time, but during that free week, you won't be charged. Head on over to accordionlove.com, check out the resources. I hope to see you soon.